Cats want to do their own shit. They like deciding what to do. If you decide what to do for your cat, nah, man, you ain't you ain't catting right. Fuck. This is Jungle Beats Cat. This is Australia's plug today. Hey, I'm back. What's up, guys? Um, so those who don't know, I was just in. What well, I'm about to do a review of the Jay Z Beyonce on the Run two. Oh, is that tour. what that stands for? Yeah, bro. What do you think this is? I thought it said like quarter. And then we got on the back, just to give you guys a little little thing. You got on the back, you got all the cities they went to. Oh shit, this is in the shape of a cross because they died for our sins. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. Oh shit! He's going straight for the fucking stab in the fucking religion. I think it's a cool shirt. Regardless of your denomination. It's a cool shirt. Um, it's got oh, all the cities. J plus B. I thought it was called for Justin Bieber. You fuck. No, you <laughs> didn't. And then they got the, yeah, J plus B. Anyway, man. <laughs> before, uh, just to give you an update, on the hundreds of you who asked, uh, I traveled through New York and then Vancouver uh, for nearly a month um, and had an amazing experience there. New York is one of my favorite cities in the world and Vancouver I've never been to. Um, just had so much diversity and beautiful nature and yeah, just amazing yeah. experience. If you want to see what it was like, just go to my Instagram. I'll tag it up and you can see all the uh, stories and highlights. Vancouver, Columbia? British Columbia, yeah. Man, that's where Nardwa hails from. It is, right? Dude, Nardwa didn't hit you up? Nardwa didn't hit me up. I don't think Nardwa knows we exist. <laughs> Wouldn't that be unreal? I got a gift for you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be unreal if Nardwa did Man. Jungle Beats? That's, that's a Jungle Beats dream right there. Bro, he, what type of shit he'd pull up, you think? I don't know. I'd expect the unexpected because every single time I watch a review, people are just like, the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? You the fans? You know, so. <laughs> anyway, man, I'm back. Uh, we back together. Um, and I want to give you guys uh, my experience of one of the best tours that I've, and concerts and experiences that I've been to. Jay-Z, Beyonce. First off, do you have any questions off the bat? Did it exceed your expectations? that were already high? A little bit. A little bit. My expectations were high because you know Beyonce is such a theatrical performer. Mm -hmm. She puts a lot of effort into her. And you're a big fan of the visuals as much as everything 100%, else. 100%, right? So I was expecting some type of level where she did like the Super Bowl performance and she's got all these mm. crazy stuff and Coachella. And she definitely, uh, they definitely did that. <laughs> I did a review on our Jungle Beats Instagram if you want to see more details, but we were lucky enough to get five rows back um, seated uh, to the side. So that's... Like was, all seats? No, no, no. Uh, there was the floor seating, mm. which was just some riggedy chairs. Wait, so no one was standing? And then, because they had a runway, two runways, the standing was there. Those tickets were a thousand plus dollars. So they can get right fuck Jay-Z and Beyonce. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. A thousand dollars to stand? Yep, more. Some, I actually, I think it was up to two thousand dollars too. How much did you pay to sit? Three fifty each ticket. Wow. Five rows back. I'd refuse to pay that much to see anyone. But I get it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is, and I've paid that many times for early entry for Kendrick and Kanye. Anyway, um, the experience. <laughs>
one of the best concerts I've been to. It, it just, I've always wanted to see these two together. I think this is the last time they're going to do this. They're going to tour together. Jay-Z hasn't been toured in Australia in fucking years. Beyonce hasn't come in three or four years. I don't think they're both going to come to Australia because of the head fuck it is to bring a set and bring all that down here and travel with your family. Mm -hmm. So I had to make it happen. That's actually how the trip to America and Canada started. I booked this ticket first. Mm -hmm. I, I told you, right? Yeah, you did. For those who don't know, I booked this ticket first and then we designed the trip around it. It was supposed to be their last tour of their, their stop. Then they added Seattle and I'm like, damn, it would have been special to have the last stop on the tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they had 39 shows and this is their second last show. So I'm thinking that they're going to be pretty tired. They're going to be fatigued. Like, I, I don't expect, like, I expect to see a little bit of that, but I didn't. I really didn't see fatigue through their performance. <laughs> I didn't see any like sign of that. They really gave a lot of energy and passion. reception wasn't it's was different man it, i'm used to melbourne shows where fucking fans are come on we got some of the best fans in australia i did the u.s people like 80 percent of artists i know from the u.s love coming to australia they come here once and they have no idea what to expect and they're just right. like holy shit the fans here there's so much more than we thought and they're fucking really into our music i yeah. want to come back here straight away well no every word will give you so much love but i felt like Vancouver wasn't completely sold out. It was a stadium, 50,000 capacity stadium. It had like 43,000 people in attendance. Just a lot of people. But I felt like the energy from the audience wasn't really there. Like, especially with Jay-Z, I felt like most of the people were there to see Beyonce. Yeah. Which I think Jay-Z felt that. Like he did songs and he'd kind of get the crowd to say something and you wouldn't really hear it. And I'm like, <laughs> That's Fuck. pretty bad for 43,000 people. Especially when he did songs like one of my favorite songs by Jay Z on Magna Carta is "Beach Is Better," the 50 second track. You remember? Oh, the one we talked about needs to be longer. He did it. He did it twice. Wow. He's like, "Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back." I'm like, "Yes, he fucking did. Beach is better." Jack's on sunny, cause I ain't got time to be young with your ass if you ain't really ready. Yes, and then, but 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 because my beach is better, and then he has that oh Beyonce that line. Yeah. And then, I, you know, he, he stops talking over that line because the crowd's got to say it. I'm like the only one who fucking said it. Shut up! Girl, why you never ready? Because we're resolved and you took me by the little way, how they marry? Seriously, we get married. I'm going to say it to the beat, I'm going to be better. You can keep the face without beats, whatever. Shut it down, then it's all me. And the number one post. Oh, oh. Left the house with a hundred grand. And it's all getting broke, oh. I felt like I was the only one who said it. Obviously, I'm sure many others did, but like... Did Jay look at you and smile? Oh, man, me and Jay, we chilled after. We talked about Beaches Better. It was great. But it's just kind of just the crowd was the disappointing part. So Vancouver, I don't know what's up with you guys. Um, I heard talking to some Vancouverites that that's kind of how it's like. Everyone's just chill. Yeah, they're more chill, not as into it. But it's cool. Um, the set design was great. <laughs> Runways were used well. They had a floating stage that elevated and took them along the runway above the fans in the middle. 
um, who was standing, which I thought was really cool. So it makes sense why this, those standing tickets were so expensive. The shit's got to be expensive to set up. Um, the sound, the sound quality, sound engineering, I think it's going to be very hard to get that right in a stadium, especially talking to guys like E and Dan. Um, I think it was done pretty well from my position. The sound was pretty clear. So tick on that. Tick on visuals. The visuals are great. They had their pyrotechnics. They had the fire. Um, they had theatrics. They had dances, beautiful dances, and uh, kind of guys who bend their body and do crazy shit. Yeah, you see them in like Coachella performance. And the way they structured the set, their song structuring, I thought was really good. I bought the um, the booklet, which is downstairs. I can show you. It's really cool um, to see photos of Jay-Z and Beyonce and their relationship. And it also has a structuring. Actually, there's some beautiful photos of Beyonce's ass. Um, and I like to comment that her bare ass is in this. Um, and I will show you, Alexander Man, but I will not show the camera because I think Beyonce That's meant this to be for... Whoa, they're beautiful. And these photos in here were all snippets of videos that were shown on the screen. So there's videos behind all this. And a lot of these photos, like, that's a fucking boss ass photo they right there. Done for the show. Well, not necessarily because they had a documentary called On the Run before they did their tour. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And That's why it's called On the Run 2. Yes, but before On the Run, the first tour, there was a documentary. And a lot of this footage and a lot of these photos... Like, how cool is that? You're getting, you're getting uh, dreaded up by fucking Beyonce right there. What a moment. Um, a lot of these photos and video photos were from videos in the show. So in between tracks, like when they were doing costume changes. What are you smiling at? Because <laughs> I'm going to see a bear ass later. Oh, yeah, you get to, bear. But you guys don't. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I uh, mean, Beyonce, we talk. That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> I kind of couldn't see it that time. Um, they would have tracks together and there'd be footage of their family and, and them being together, like kind of maybe them coming apart and breaking up. Like, and it was structured in that way and it was really cool to see that insight into their life because they're, they're pretty private people and you don't see a lot of photos or videos of their life. And I've never seen all this footage before. And so it was cool seeing their family and, and their, their daughters and um, sorry, their children and them interacting in kind of a candid way. And then of course, some of it is like, uh, they're like acting because they made a documentary based on it that it's been, uh, hasn't been released yet, um, called On The Run. I thought a lot of that's from that as well, but that matched every song, so it progressed. And then from the start of the, so you, you, this is a kind of a breakdown of the On The Run tour set. So it's like categorized as like chapters of a book. Yeah. So it starts off the queen, the gangster, the crew, so, the hood. Yeah. And then, go ahead. So I was gonna say the queen's obviously Beyonce, the gangster's obviously Jay-Z. Right. The crew, maybe their family. And then, the, that's funny, you say the crew, their family, that's when the song they did with Pharrell off the last one. I could do anything, hell nah, hell nah. I think that's the song to represent that. Mm. And they go through all of this and the songs match the category. Nice. And kind of the the flow of their relationship and their lives. The ass. Which track was that one? I can't remember, man. You gotta check my Instagram. <laughs> um, that's fucking. That's really cool. How it, it's just it just goes to show the amount of time and effort they really put into. Oh, this. absolutely. This is um, this is extremely well thought after. Because music is art, and this is a perfect example of how music is exceptionally art. Exactly. And, and th this, I was watching more than a concert, man. I was more than yeah. a performance. It's so much more. And, and that's what I loved about it. This was, this was a really special experience for me. You know, I, I wish I was even in the crowd to see a different vantage point. Mm. Um, but I, that's, that's one of my favorite, favorite things about this tour. tour. That's a beautiful book, man. Yeah, yeah I'm glad I got it. I wish I got two, actually. Um, anyway, yes, when they did Ape Shit. <laughs> I don't have the 
track list on me. They, their track list was so long. I'm, they did so many songs. So many. Like, you know, this is the longest concert I've ever been to. It, it, pro- it was probably Two near... Two and a half hours? Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. I'm so, it just went by. And I'm so glad they, they gave so much. Because, you know, 90 minutes set for that much money, shit. That's, that's... Maybe they knew that this may be the last time they'd be performing together, like you said. Right. Maybe they wanted to make it like a huge way to go out. This whole tour, you mean? Mm. You're right. And so I'm so thankful they did two and a half hours um, because that, they were able to give so much. And what I noticed is while they were doing like multiple verses of their tracks, like if not the whole song, I'm like, huh, how much time we got for this? What are they going to do? 10 tracks? But no, they went longer. They did most of the verses. Most uh, artists we see, they don't do all the verses. They'll do one or two. So I'm really thankful they did, you know, all the verses. You got to really feel the song. You know, when Jay-Z does Song Cry, he's at the top of the top of the runway, you know, he's just chilling, singing, rapping, sorry. Um, and yeah, man, it's overall just a, a really great performance, structured so well, they gave energy and passion. I'm just really glad I, uh, we went. Um, one of the best performances I've been to. That's crazy, man. Yeah, and if they do come to Australia, I'll pull out all the stops to get there um, and make sure I'm, uh, see if I can get a standing ticket. That's how good it was. Yeah, I heard it. Um, Incredible. Let me show you Beyonce's ass. <laughs> Jay-Z's over 40. Beyonce is nearly 40. But for their age, they still killed it. They absolutely killed it, man. Mm. Uh, I'm so kind of like impressed and, and like inspired by what they can do together. Mm. It's super empowering. And as they are as a, as a couple, it's like, man, fucking goals right here. You know, this is a power couple. This is like, oh, come on, son. Come on, son. Yeah. Well, yeah, the sun's shining on it. Come on, son. Here's the ass. Never before seen. Really? No disrespect, Jay-Z. We're just admiring your woman. Um, you put in the book. Oh, I bought the book. Fuck me. Come on, man. <laughs> Can look at the damn pictures. Shit! <laughs> look, man. If you ever get the opportunity... Look, I fly... At... People make fucking excuses all the time for not experiencing new things around their world, around their country, around their city. You need to stop making fucking excuses, man, because there's opportunities like this, whether you like these people or not, all around you, like, I flew across the other side of the world to take that opportunity um, because I realized it probably won't happen again. So, uh, if you get anything from this, is that Beyonce's got a fine ass. They still, Jay-Z and Beyonce are stronger than ever. He's fucking not even in this country. His mind is somewhere else. Take opportunities, man. One of the best concerts I've ever been to. One of the best performances. Best concert reviews ever. Jungle Beats. Two. Oh, <laughs>